Hey guys, it's Mark from Mark's Gear Views, and uh, today I finally have for you guys the Multitasker Tools AR15 Multi Tool. Um, right off the bat, I'd like to uh, just say that this is a uh, shooter's military or police or even civilian shooter's uh, multi tool, and so that's what it's based for. Most of its tools are meant for that kind of application and since I'm not a shooter uh, I'm just letting you guys know that I could not test it to its full abilities however that having said that I feel like over this past month of owning it um, I've gotten a good enough grasp to review it overall and uh, maybe not focus so much on the specifics so uh, with that in mind I'll uh, mention that a bit later because there is something related to that but uh, for now here's the R15 uh, first thing you notice is it comes in a nice high quality um, this is nylon uh, nylon sheath with a uh, it's it's molly compatible so you know, it's got the snap here it's got the straps and such so um, fully molly compatible uh, it's got a drainage hole here, and this is rigid right here. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's cardboard or something, but whatever it is, um, this is semi-rigid. And um, and it has a snap instead of Velcro, which is really nice. That's a really nice touch. Um, the other thing is it has a space inside. This is, uh, well, you won't be able to see it because it's dark, but... This is rubber, right? Uh, not not rubber, but uh, spandex, like stretchy material, right here, um, and that allows it to hold this bit kit. Um, more on that in a second. So that's the sheath, and uh, here's the tool. You can see it's uh, it's not straight, but it's sl somewhat curved for a more ergonomic feel uh, when you're using the pliers, and. Uh, you can see there, it's somewhat butterfly shaped, but um, this is a butterfly opening uh, multi tool, similar to you know your Leatherman, your Swiss tool, your uh, SOG, etc. Um, the first thing you notice about this tool is how solid it feels. It's um, it it's not very heavy but it feels dense, it feels like it's packed. And that's exactly right. Um, the scales here are G10, machine G10. Um, the inside is uh, some sort of steel, but instead of um, a black oxide coating, which fades and wears over time, this is a uh, melanite coating, I believe, and that gives it a lot more durability and a lot more even black surface. Um, the plier head is something I've never seen before and it's a CNC billet. Um, it's it's all machined. Uh, this, I mean, it's, it's so precisely made and it really shows, you know, the, the difference is just incredible from regular cast plier heads because um, basically what it is is they take two blocks probably uh, that big of um, whatever the material uh, it's I think it's D2 tool steel uh, something similar to that a very high quality steel and um, regularly um, the manufacturer will just melt it down and then put it in a mold and make the two halves um, and that's all right but it becomes structurally less strong than if you than, than the original material so in order to keep that strength uh, these plier heads are milled uh, which is a co uh, computer numerically controlled uh, machine CNC machine will uh, cut this out using, I don't know, cutting wheels or lasers or whatever. And um, the result is, I mean, it, it looks fantastic and it feels fantastic. And the, 
you can instantly tell the quality when you're opening and closing and part of the reason why it feels so good is because um, these are actually uh, ball bearings I believe rather than the typical um, just press fitted plier heads so um, it, it honestly it sounds like I'm being paid by the company or something because I'm raving so much about it right off the bat but I I mean I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys right now this is a positive review I've never felt a, a multi-tool that feels so high quality to be honest I, I really I can't say enough about this um, the only thing I do have a problem with is there are a couple of design flaws in my opinion um, and uh, aside from that the my knife came completely dull right out of the box um, there's nothing I can do about that and uh, I, I really don't know what to say about that um, it is what it is I guess uh, yours may be different uh, yours probably will be different but mine completely dull um, interesting to note is that uh, all the tools are outside opening uh, similar to the Swiss Tool series, which is also very good. Um, I didn't have a chance to review that because that was one of my first uh, multi-tools, but the Swiss Tool Spirit is definitely one of my favorite of all time. Um, and it also, and one of the reasons why is because it had outside opening tools. So, uh, big plus, and... Um, so yeah, the implements are all shooter design. So you have this pick here um, for something, some some task. Um, but I guess you could just use it as a regular pick. I, I don't know. Um, the this unscrews and you can screw on a um, Otis brush or something similar to that. It's a it's another shooter implement, but the thread is like perfectly made for that you know interchangeability um, here you have a bit driver with the castle nut bit or something like that uh, this this four pronged bit um, that comes standard on it uh, and yes that's what the bit kit is for uh, I'll come back to that um, you have the scraper uh, carbon scraper I believe uh, to get carbon out. Um, I guess that's a negative thing to have carbon build up. You have a nut, uh, a wrench for a special size nut. Um, I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. Uh, you have a adjuster for something on an, on an AR-15 barrel. Um, you have a uh, file right here with a flat tip and um, other than the knife that's it uh, it's only one two three four five six seven uh, actual tools but the nice thing about it is that even though there's only seven tools all of them are very thick and high quality all of them are separated by brass spacers, brass spacers so that it's all very smooth and while you only have one uh, driver you have one, two, three, four, five, ten uh, bits. So that's very nice. That's basically ten implements right in one. And uh, the thing to note is that these are just standard quarter inch bits. So you can use any any screwdriver bits from anywhere, and they'll fit. They'll work. So um, that's very nice. It's a very nice touch. Um, yeah. Other than that. Um, I uh, let's see the one-handed opening stud for both of these is quite close to the scale so it's not fantastic but you know it's not horrible either um, my hands are quite sweaty right now don't ask me why but I am having a lot of trouble getting the uh, the bit out of here it's held on magnetically so um, I don't know, it, uh, it's kind of a pain to get out if your hands are sweaty. Might be something worth note. Um, 
what else what else uh i'm honestly trying to think of stuff that i don't like about this um and it's proving quite difficult especially when you consider that this specialized tool uh works really well as a bottle opener and i don't think the designers planned on that at all which is the funny thing about that um so when you get un unplanned versatility uh <laughs> that's just pretty impressive uh the thickness and the smoothness of all the tools is probably what i like most about this i mean everything just feels perfectly machined like precision made uh just everything perfect and i i just don't know um i really wish this was more uh edc friendly um and then it would probably be my favorite tool um i actually don't i'm not a fan of the whole curved design just because it feels sort of fat in my hand and if you squeeze hard uh, your hands tend to slip that way uh, that way I don't know it may just be because I'm old school but I prefer a uh, straight straight handle design but you know that's that's just my personal opinion um, so yeah as I was saying I would really like an EDC version of this and that's pretty pretty fitting because they're actually coming out multitasker tools is actually coming out with an EDC version of this uh, quite soon so I mean you can you can bet your top dollar that I'm gonna have one of these because if he can make uh, the the owner of multitasker tools Shane um, if he can make an EDC version of this as high quality as his shooter range is then I <laughs> I mean is it the end of Leatherman probably not should it be probably um, these are all made in China but they're made to very exacting specifications and Shane is taking advantage of the fact that Chinese manufacturers have the technology they have the means to make high quality products they're just most of the time called upon to make low quality cheap products but they have the resources so if you have a, uh, a company who wants a Chinese manufacturer to make high quality products they can do it and this is an example uh, these retail I think 100 bucks 120 bucks 75 bucks something like that it's not ridiculous um, in fact it's very reasonable especially when you consider the the quality of the piece you're getting I mean it's it's really something incredible um, he uh, Shane had said on a forum that I frequent uh, multitool.org uh, he had said that if he had uh, um, excuse me he had gone to US manufacturers and he had asked them how much it would cost to um, get these these plier heads uh, like manufactured to get the CNC uh, billet plier heads and I think he said someone quoted him three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars per head so it's it's kind of ridiculous um, so um, that just that's just uh, a and, and it it's it attests to the ridiculous ridiculous quality like it's honestly it's a ridiculous level of quality um, other than well yeah it's a ridiculous level of quality other than the knife because it's dull but that's pretty much the only thing I can find that is bad about this tool and I've actually been in contact with Shane um, and the reason why it's dull is because he was having problems with his knife manufacturer so that should be sorted um, so basically highly highly recommended multitasker AR-15 marks out